like I said, we are talking about environment and environment differences of uh, between our environment in Ghana and environment in Denmark. And uh, actually, we don't know how much uh, the environment looks in Denmark, but for here, uh, our own people, like I said initially, used to burn the vegetation land, and when they do so, it remains bare, which means the fertility of the soil will then lose it because we have burnt and not necessarily just to get uh, maybe uh, bush antelopes and whatever animals for hunting. And this place, as you can see, that is the traditional or artificial way, new method of hunting bees in our locality and that is the method that we use now and as this place as you can see you can see plant, uh, plants arranged in a row meaning that we are practicing afforestation to plant trees to protect our environment here and that's how you see and also that is the end mark of the land for similar center in the long here so that is the, uh, the environment that you are seeing here and the land there they have bent you can see no more grasses uh, the land of that vegetation land is still dead so and that is the uh, so when you look at this picture that is shown here you see a lot of rubbishes gathered at one place is a uh, place is talking about poor sanitation that we are having here it's caused by nobody than our own people here which i believe in denmark maybe might be different from this scene that you are facing here